The Carlos Alcaraz forehand is incredible. And here are a few things you can copy from his forehand to help improve your forehand. But first, let's watch the short point and then we'll analyze it. Now, this is a practice point against Rafa, and this is at Indian Wells. The first thing I want you to see is that he's behind the baseline and he's stepping inside the court. Notice he is using a neutral stance. I have people in the comment section telling me, Ryan, no, 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 neutral stance. It's old school. Like nobody's using a neutral stance. Well, tell that to Carlos because this is exactly how you want to play this ball. Anytime you go forward into the court against a ball that's either medium or low in height, so there's like that's a medium height, anything that's down here, that is going to be hit extremely well with a neutral stance where you're stepping forward and he's leaning forward as he hits this ball, which allows him to go forward. He actually hits a winner up the line. But neutral stance is not dead. So when you're moving forward and the ball is low, just use a neutral stance. Stepping forward and neutral simply means that your feet are lined up with the net. The next idea, notice he takes his racket back with both hands. He takes the racket back with both hands. Please film yourself. Make sure that you're taking your racket back with both hands because what occurs then is a coiling effect. When you coil, it allows you to uncoil into the shot. Third, notice as his racket drops, two things occur. As the racket goes down, he closes his racket face. So notice his strings are pointing down. And I don't care if you're using an Eastern, a semi-Western, or a full Western. You need to have your strings tilted down. That's what allows you to swing inside out, up away from your body to get topspin. But I also want you to notice his left hand. His non-hitting hand moves across. And watch how it's visible at contact over his non-hitting shoulder. His non-hitting hand is visible over his non-hitting shoulder. If you're someone who struggles to rotate your body into the shot, this is a hot topic with players. They're trying to figure out, how do I rotate into the shot like Alcarez? Well, we know that the body rotating swings the racket through contact, but what gets the body to rotate? It's the non-hitting hand swinging across. So that's one of the benefits of taking the racket back with both hands. You now have a way to swing the non-hitting hand across to get momentum with the non-hitting hand, which turns the body, and that's what swings the racket through. So if you're struggling to rotate your body, really work on taking the racket back with both hands so that it can then move across. Make sure that at contact right there, that your non-hitting hand is visible when you film yourself from the back. Have it visible over your non-hitting shoulder, and man, are you going to see a difference in the speed you can hit because of your ability to rotate. And the last thing, look how still his head stays. Look how still. This is incredible how we can see his ear here, and it doesn't even move. It, well, it moves from the circle, but the angle we have, that didn't go as planned. But you can see we can see actually we can see his right eye like socket right there that's absolutely incredible so he keeps his head super still and the only thing that moves his head is his shoulder coming through now the best way to practice these techniques is at home with a topspin pro you can get a topspin pro using my link in the description i'm also going to pin it in the first comment i absolutely love the topspin pro and i know you will too and if you're looking for people in your local area to play matches against or practice with, or if you want to find a coach who's close to you who can help you with your game, then use my link in the description and pinned in the first comment, playyourcourt.com slash two minute tennis. When you use my link to sign up, you get 50% off. So go out and film yourself hitting four hands and check to see that you're doing what Carlos Alcaraz does. And if you do, there's no doubt you're going to gain confidence, win more matches and play much better tennis. This is Ryan Reedy from two minute tennis.net. You got this.